Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, God, no, it's all falling apart already. Oh, the Titans have breached the wall. Hello, everybody. I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and we have played a lot of fan games based around Attack on Titan on this channel. We've played them with Sly Fox, we've played them with Toby, we've played ones made in Unreal Engine, some made in Unity, web-based, like, application apps and games. We've tried them all, but now there is an actual official Attack on Titan game out. It's available on Steam right now, and it is called Wings of Freedom, and it looks gory as hell, and I'm stoked for this. Look, there he is. Oh, the commander. I love him so much. He's so good. But this is Wings of Freedom. Let's find out what the crack is with this game. There's the blood splat, of course, as well. Let's get into it. So as far as I'm aware, or at least what I can see from the DLC, there are only three episodes available so far. I don't know if this is going to be kind of like a telltale type thing where they'll put out periodic episodes, but we'll see. But they first appeared in the world 100 years ago. Stomping about the place like they own every- oh, no, that's brutal. The Titan's brute strength completely outclassed the average person. Humanity was shoved to the brink of extinction. And first up to kick in the NFL season. It's Colossal Titan! Is it good? Oh, yeah, it is. It's devastating. Ellen Yeager! It's one of my favorite things from the whole show, is just the way they all say that. Ellen Yeager! All right, oh, like, Keith. Is that really his name? Hello, my, my name's Keith. I'm from Yorkshire. Uh, I've got tea, and I like killing titans. Two of my favourite things. Yeah, the same letter. Uh, anyway, X to fire at anchors. Oh, so it is lazy mode. Oh dear. This camera is bloody difficult to control, though. Good God. Like I'm, I'm barely touching the right stick, if at all, and it is going nuts. Oh Christ. Am I off the floor? Press A to boost. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this camera control is real difficult. There you go, up the top. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I'm stuck in a wall. There you go. Back through the valley. And then that way. Do I chill over here or do I enter the woods? Oh, we're practicing target stuff. A target that resembles a titan. Right, so this is the combat then. So it's RB when a titan is nearby to switch the combat mode. Pressing X will fire anchor into the titan. That makes sense. Omnidirectional mobility combat. So that means we'll basically be like homed in around it. So it'll lock on. Kind of like in Rocket League where you have like ball cam. We'll have titan cam. Um, while in this state, left can be used for rotation and A can be used for boosted movements. Sure. If you don't move the left stick, then you'll rush towards the titan and press Y when colliding to use your slash. Right. You can use R to toggle which body part you wish to target as well. Right, so it was RB to enter combat mode. There you go, like that. Hook on, and then let go, and then... Why? There you go, look at that. That's all right, I'm into that. Let's do some combat drills based on what I've said. Oh, Christ. It's up to you to decide when to resupply, okay. The thing that I don't like so far is how bloody close you got to be to... to actually get over to them. Like, I keep finding that I end up, like, hitting the floor before I even do anything. Not enough speed, balls. There you go. Boost in and... Go on. There you go. Okay, got it. Yeah, you do have to get a little bit close. Like, for example, if I go for this guy at 110, how close do I have to get before I can even lock in? About 50 meters. You'll have some serious reaction times to do that. There you go. Marco is here as well. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, how am I doing? Oh, I'm doing all right on both things, actually. I don't need any upgrades just yet. Oh, go on. Get it. Get it. Lock on. There you go. Okay. I guess you just get into a habit of, like, when you get close, you just do a case of pressing, like, RB, then X, and then A, then Y. And it's just gonna, gonna kind of become a case of just mashing those buttons in the same order a lot. So, X, A, Y. Yeah, okay. So it's easy enough to do. It's just you can't do it until you're about 50 meters in. Tell you what, I'm running out of gas. I'm just gonna quickly go and stock up here. Where are we looking? To there. There you go. Reload. Cheers, dude. All right, uh, if I press it up, there goes my gas. My blades are totally fine right now, so I don't need to do anything with those. I love that it shows you where the character on the map is when they're speaking, including yourself. Although, with how frantic this game is, I'm not sure that I would ever want to, like... Oh, there we go. I'm not sure I'd ever want to actually read the text. Like, I'm all about stuff that's canon and lore and all that sort of stuff, but... It's just not the time, is it, when you're flying around like a madman trying to hit every limb imaginable. Uh, right, there's one more dude left. How long have I got on the clock? 1 minute 14. Oh, loads of time. Yeah, I picked this up pretty quickly, actually. Pretty tough for myself for that. Go on, then. And through for the final slash. Boom. All right. I'm into it. This is fun. Oh, God. The top performance of the session. Hey! Elin Yeager! Number one. Landeske? Eh? Oh? Ah? I love when they do that in, like, animes. It's like, eh? Oh? 
Huh? <sighs> oh, that is just like random like noises. All right, battle outcome. Whoa, an S. No, get out. Oh, look at that. Players will be rated depending on their actions during battle. These ratings determine the amount of experience earned. Did I get top of the class from actually playing well, or was that just the story thing? Because I've got an S rank and I got first. I'm thinking if I got a C, would I have gotten, like, fourth best in class or something? God knows. Anyway, oh, look at that. Leveled up. Nice. So after you've earned enough experience, regiment skill and a character's soldier skill will increase. Increasing regiment skill causes new equipment to appear in a camp. That's good. And unlocks new equipment for development. Increasing the soldier skill will allow a character to learn new skills. Ah, so one gives you gear, one gives you abilities. I'm into it. I like that. I've learned the ability swoop. I need to learn the ability slide so I can get into them DMs. Me and Annie, we're from the same tribe. We both bite our thumb and we get big. Giggity. Erinjigo! <laughs> Erinjigo! God, Annie's like glazed expression is so unnerving, isn't it? Why is Erin's face like so like so angry and so like baffled on that like little subtitle when his face is completely cool now sasha i think is probably one of my favorite characters in the whole show she just likes food and just likes chilling out and having a good time but she can kick ass whenever she needs to she's pretty funny oh man look at this you know i'm quite liking this this kind of gives me uh the same sort of vibes as when you're running around in games like uh like dynasty warrior type games like i played uh, the one piece game a little while back and it kind of has that vibe to it same with the art style as well oh god no i thought we managed to avoid no no it's it's oh the one thing i specifically wanted to avoid it's just now the flashback to oh geez here he comes tell you what for being such a big dude and there not being nail clippers available his toenails are pretty immaculate. I'm looking all right. Why, well, howdy, neighbor. Want to paint a picture with your blood? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You'd be scared. Barbara Ross over there is going to tear you a new one. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. This happens. Oh, okay. At least it doesn't show you the whole shebang with this one. It's not quite as grim as the TV show. There is an option as well in this game to turn the gore off. So I'm surprised it didn't show us that, to be honest. I'm guessing when you play the game with gore turned off, maybe you just don't see any blood splatters. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. Here he comes. Like Usain Bolt. Straight through this wall. Oh, they're in trouble. Now, which wall is that? I can't remember. Is that actually the second wall? Or not? Oh, yeah, I forgot everyone gets on the boat and they bugger off. Including Armin as well. And after that horrendous flashback, uh, let's go to the door. I kind of just want to jump back into the gameplay, although that thing is flashing like crazy at me. Let me just uh, dash inside. So I can actually buy stuff off of you, and then can I use that to craft things? Let's see. Uh, new developments. Equipment modification as well. Uh, let's try new blades. Let's have a little look. So that one would be a reinforced blade version 1. Or I can get the shoes remesser. That one looks nuts. The blade length not very long, though. That's the only thing. What's this? Blade and paddle. Drumsticks. <laughs> Wait, what? And these have such crazy attack power as well. What's that all about? I mean, they do cost like six grand. Or at least that one does. The duster. But these ones actually don't cost very much at all. Look at the upgrades you get with them. Oh, my God. I can get Christmas trees. I <laughs> oh, Christmas trees or lollipops. No, I tell you what. Durability. I'm going to go for the Christmas trees. Let's go for it. Oh my god, equip Christmas tree, yes. This is some of the stupid stuff, isn't it, that they've added in. Santa's boot. Oh god, look, look at these. The pine decoration, I want one. I'm doing it. Nice, thank you very much. Uh, yes, equip the pine decoration. What other ridiculousness do we have? Oh, there's a Halloween one. Oh, I kind of want the Halloween one, the jack-o'-lantern. That's sweet, okay. This is so cool. I'm going to look absurd when I go out into the field now. Let's go try these out. This is going to be so fun. All right. Chapter one, Return of Despair. Let's go. <laughs> look at them. They're amazing. Oh, man. I honestly didn't think they would be in like, these cutscene events. They're so good. Oh, Jesus. This is another five years later. Good God. We do some serious leaps in time in this story, don't we? And then it slows right the way down to being like literally day to day. Oh, here it comes. Give me that thunderbolt. And? Yeah, there it is. Poo your pants. Poo your pants. It's a good thing that all of their clothes are like tan leather and brown and stuff. They could really do some yellow pants or something. I would pee my pants if I saw him. 
Hundred percent. All right, so this is where—oh my god, the jack o' lantern on my back! <laughs> now this is where things get interesting because this will be the first time that we've played a part of this game that mimics a lot of the fan games that come out. Because all of the fan games we've played have pretty much, for the most part, been based inside the walls uh, inside of War Maria. So this is going to be interesting to see. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, there you go, nice. Oh damn! I mean, I think I got something there. I think I accidentally got the nape when I wasn't kind of meaning to. Look at these bloody Christmas trees. And by that, I mean actual bloody Christmas trees. It does wear off pretty quickly, though. Right, am I trying to get up the wall or what? Is that where I'm going? I think I might be. Oh, not again. No, no, you've already kicked it once. Oh, jeez. Do I need to move out of the way? Oh, ouch. Um, no, there's more titans. Okay. Uh, let's move up to the nape of the neck. Let's go for that. And up we go. Oh, yes. Jingle all the way, mother trucker. Jingle all the way. Oh, God, yeah, look at my neck is really screwed. Let me uh, press it up. Oh, do I have to land on the floor? Hold on. There you go. Use a restorative. Right, okay. Digging it. Wait for the next one to come in. Subjugate the medium titan. So we're not dealing with colossal just yet. Come on, I just want to get up there and tear him a new one. I want to find out who's inside of him. Oh, God. Okay, these, these guys are large. Oh, dear. It's weird how, like, overly animated some of their faces are and how simple some of the other ones are. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, nape of the neck. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 dude, whoa, dude, whoa. Got him. Here we go. Oh, I need to dash around to the side. Now dash him. And no, not yet. I know I've got teammates. They're coming. So I can give them instructions with the D-pad and everything else like that. Give you items when they stand still. Gotcha. All right, sweet. Switch objectives. There you go. I press down on the D-pad to switch objectives. There's just one more guy left. So let's go for it. Straight up to there. I'm going to boost around to the side. And now I'm going to go in and slash the neck. There you go. And a happy new year, you filthy animal. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I just, I love the Christmas trees. They're so good. A little part of me wishes I'd chosen the lollipops, but the trees are pretty damn good. He's got a point. That is the only Titan that can actually break the wall at the moment that we know of. So if he can take him out of this Christmas trees, <laughs> it takes all severity out of the situation. Oh, then we might be able to finish this. All right. Oh, jeez. Uh, can I move? <laughs> I'd really, really like to move. I guess I'm going to have to climb up this bad boy. He is massive. Good God. This is insane. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. Okay. Switch to combat mode. All right. No, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute. That's it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This entire body is protected by steam, of course. Give it a taste of the mountain cannons. All right. Well, I'm right by one. I'll come out of combat mode. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, stand in the cannon, press B. L to move it around. Y to fire. Right, got you. All right, enter. Uh, right on the gob. There you go. Just keep firing. That's it, right in the jaw. Look at that. It's lowering the neck down slightly, but not very quickly. Oh, oh, I've got to hit a shell into his arm to stop him swinging down. Is that arm coming for me? Oh, I think it might be. Hey, look at this. That's all right. That's what happens when you try to whip a Nene on my wall, mate. Right, his movements have stopped. Can I jump out there and get him now? That couldn't have gone better. Too right. I'm getting another S rank here. Oh, gone. Slash it up. Oh, he expelled steam just at the wrong time. Nearly got him. Nearly got him. He's determined. Yeah, go on. Oh, and he's gone. See, what I find weird about that is if you've obviously watched the show, you know a bit more about Titans. How is there nobody on the ground? That's the thing I don't understand. Don't worry about it, Aaron. You got some pretty good stuff from your trick-or-treating in your backpack. <laughs> S. 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 Oh, look at this. 
Marvelous. Right, well, there we go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. That is a brief look at Attack on Titan, Wings of Freedom. Um, I actually quite enjoy that, so I think I'm probably going to play more of it over on my live stream. So keep an eye on Twitch and in the Littlewood Live to see uh, the rest of this. Um, if you do want to see more on here specifically, then go nuts in the comments and on the likes as well. That is a good way of getting my attention on that front. But thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.